All right, hello wine drinking people. Today is Thursday, the 24th of April, and we have got an incredible lineup of winemaker events for you coming up next week. This one we've been working on for a little while. You know, one of the things that we will do as a wine store here, one of the services that we offer for you, our wine drinking people, if you have more wine than you can drink, we will help you with that. And this is one of our big Spanish collectors. He's got an incredible collection of Bodegas Moro Dos, or I'm sorry, Bodegas Moro. And uh, this is um, the Mariano Garcia and his son, their wineries that they represent. And they've got three different wineries. And, um, you know, the Mor Bodegas Moro is what this tasting is going to focus on. But we figured, you know, since we have the export director in town, uh, Matthew Roberts, we should show all of the wines that are represented by the Garcia family. So we don't have Moro here in front of you, but we do have the wines from Toro. If you know, Mariano Garcia was the winemaker for Vega Sicilia for 20 years or more. And uh, he was one of the first guys to get involved in Toro with the San Roman project. And, uh, you know, Toro being uh, pretty much just Tempranillo, a different clone of it. And, uh, you know, they also have got this Bodegas Moro property. And uh, they also have the Estralas, which is from Ribera del Duero. So you got Moro from uh, Castilla. And then uh, we're going to have all of these wines. Estralas, we've got a huge tasting going on to start this event with all the new releases from uh, the properties in Toro and the property in Ribeiro del Duero, Estralis, and then uh, we are gonna be sitting down for a once in a lifetime tasting here with uh, all these Bodegas Moro wines, which we have got Moro going all the way back to 1996, including the Terrace, which is his top wine, and we got Vendemia Selection. We've got these very rare bottlings that uh, I've never even seen or had, so I am excited about this tasting. And, you know, uh, when it comes to Spanish wine, some of the greatest wines in the world being produced in Spain and some of the greatest values for what you get for $20 in a wine like this, Toro, it's hard to find anything that scores 90 points almost every single vintage uh, like this anywhere in the world. Old vines... When I say old vines, uh, you know, 30-year-old vines, hey, those are, you know, young vines in Toro. When you look at, you know, the great wines of the world, hey, they don't use a grape in Chateau Lafitte or Latour until it gets to be third, 25 years old. Well, that's what their entry-level wine is, 30-year-old vines. Anyways, an incredible uh, uh, value for the money when you look at the great wines of Spain, even the iconic wines today, like this Bodegas Moro. If you look at the value of this on Wine Searcher, it's $40 a bottle. The San Roman, we sold it $41, 96 points for the last release in the Wine Advocate. It's 50 cents a point or less. I'll tell you, you cannot get wines this good from anywhere else in the world that score like this in these major publications. So check it out a week from tonight. Everything we're going to be serving, the Garcia family of wines. I'm your host, Andrew Lampasoni, signing off for the Wine Watch, saying remember, always drink the good stuff first.